Finally, when this pandemic started, I think it's fair to say you were the generally regarded as the authority on infectious disease. But as time has gone on, you have become a polarizing figure. Critics accuse you of uh, sending mixed messages. There's allegations that that you help fund dangerous research at the Wuhan lab. Two questions. Why do you think you've become so controversial? And honestly, do you think there's anything you have done that has contributed to that? Well, I'm not so sure I could answer the latter because I can't think of anything, but I'm sure some people will. But, you know, Chris, I have stood for always making science, data and evidence be what we guide ourselves by. And I think people who feel differently, who have conspiracy theories, who deny reality that's looking them straight in the eye, those are people that don't particularly care for me. And that's understandable, because what I do and I try very hard is to be guided by the truth. And sometimes the truth becomes inconvenient for some people, so they react against me. That just is what it is. There's not much I can do about that, Chris. Dr. Fauci, thank you. Thanks for your time this Sunday. It's always good to talk with you, sir. Same here, Chris. Thank you for having me. Coming up.